why uh, graph database for AI? Because this conference is for AI, right? So this is the main topic and for today. Okay. Uh, I'd like to uh, tell you uh, 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 recent activities on um, integrating graph database with uh, AI technologies. One is about machine learning, of course. In machine learning, um, machine learning algorithms is important, but at the same time, the data is also important. Um, we normally take training data set uh, table data as training data set, and we use uh, traditional or, or, or the latest neural networks on it. Uh, but uh, my question is whether information coverage is enough for those machine learning use cases. If you have uh, not a uh, relational traditional database, but if you have graph database, you might have more um, information because it's flexibility and algorithm capability. I'm going to show you one uh, example. Um, I am working with uh, many, uh, a lot of uh, financial customers in fraud detection. And the uh, requirement is that uh, they would like to find uh, bad accounts, fake accounts in their customers, in their bank accounts, right? But uh, for the information of this account, they have the, the, the name, age of owner of that account, and also the uh, branch of this account, and balance of this account, but we cannot really predict whether this account is bad account or not from this static information. Of course, we should um, look into uh, transactions and also the family relationships and etc. So um, we like to predict this human decision whether this supposed to be fraud, bad account or not. This is an objective variable. And explanation variables uh, like these static variables, but uh, at, 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 at the same time, we would like to uh, know more about these accounts from the compli uh, complex data, like uh, the, those family relationships. They are located in somewhere, and uh, they are transferring money from, from here to here, and they are purchasing something from, from, from this uh, restaurant, this shop, right? And then, uh, yes, what, uh, well, this is an example what I, I, have, I have been doing uh, with those um, banks. For example, what is this query? If the owner of this account is sharing personal information with others, those bad guys, they are opening many, many bank accounts with the same information, like same registration of the citizenship, and then sometimes this happens. This ha person, this person, they are registered with same telephone number, same email address, etc. So this query is for detecting such you know, data sharing. Can I see? Account is owned by customer one, and customer one and customer two are sharing something. And customer two is share, share owned by this account. Oh, sorry, customer is owning this account. So, so this is a query. And another feature, how many fraud accounts exist in the same money transfer community? This is a bit, uh, um, um, well, this is very, very small network, but uh, uh, well, let's say this one is a bad account, and, and you can easily find this one is well connected to this bad account. So this can be suspicious, right? So if you have a large, large trans money transfer network, you have to automate this with an algorithm. So if you can find this, this one and this one, they are in the same community with this 
uh, well, let's say label propagation algorithm, you will find uh, how many bad accounts are in one community. And if one account is in uh, a member of the, that you know, bad community, it's suspicious, right? So this is an, another indicator. And third indicator, closeness to frowned account. So um, it's a, uh, again, it's, it's a page rank algorithm. And uh, the same uh, network here. The idea is whether I am surrounded by many bad accounts, how we can um, score that account is close to those accounts. Maybe in one hop, I don't have any bad accounts, but in two hops, I might have many, many bad accounts. In that case, um, I, my account should be scored as you know, relatively close to bad accounts. But how we can detect it? Uh, random walk is uh, um, often used here. If you, uh, oh, I'm gonna use. if you use a random walker uh, from this bad account, random walker is following this graph randomly, and then once it goes back to this node, it will stop. Yeah, and then um, we like to count the visit to other nodes. In this case, this node will be visited most, right? If you have more backed accounts in this network, you have to do this random walking from other bad accounts as well. And then you will get the um, closeness to those bad accounts for all of these nodes. So it's a simple idea. Then, um, according to these graph-based algorithms, queries, we can get more information about this node, like sharing information, fraud community, fraud, fraud closeness. And then we, are, uh, we, we can use this information as an input of machine learning for predicting whether this account is um, well, supposed to be bad or not, right? So this is what, uh, well, uh, our customers, partners are using a graph database in um, uh, financial uh, industry. If I talk a, a little bit more about uh, uh, algorithms, I, I, still, I think I still have 10 minutes. Yes. Okay, yes. until 10, around 10, okay. So random walk is used for recommendation as well. It's, it's easy, it's simple way of thinking. Uh, these, sorry it's vague, but uh, these are, let's say, people, accounts, and these are the uh, merchants, like uh, Apple Store, PC Paradise, and something, something, yeah? This one, this guy uh, has got something from this shop and this shop, and we would like to recommend other shops to this person, and which one we should recommend, yeah? Well, maybe in, in, if you have metrics, maybe you can, you can use uh, collaborative filtering and, and et cetera, but uh, the simple uh, calculation here is to use um, random walker and run random walking from here and visit here, visit here, visit here, and stop, visit here, visit here, visit here, stop, and, and then um, you can just count the visit to all these nodes, and maybe these two nodes are the closest, and this one is the third closest, and maybe this is, this is less close. So in this case, uh, maybe we can just uh, suggest this one and this one with, because these are, are getting high uh, random walking score than this one, yeah? So it's a, it's a very uh, simple idea. And uh, deep walk, this algorithm is, is not new anymore. 
and you've heard of, especially if you if you if you uh, know about uh, NLP. This is interesting because um, we can um, run run the mock here first and correct the sequence like A A B C D A C D E or something something, and then uh, you can use those sequences as input of skip gram, yeah, like uh, or using uh, word to back idea, so that you can obtain the tensor for each node, whether this node and this node are the closest, close or not, which means that uh, they might have a similar uh, purchase activities. So um, combination of graph algorithm and machine learning is quite important, uh, quite interesting. So in the um, short summary here, in the data source, if your data source contains relationship information, graph database may help create more useful features from uh, those relationship information. So how about you in your data? Um, if you should probably replace this data source from relational database to graph database. It's a, it's a challenging idea, but uh, uh, maybe it happens in such cases like in fraud or financial fraud detection. 